my here, I'm using a complete new format. Hello, it's Reverend Cassandra Ray. Can you see me? There we go. Hi, it's Reverend Cassandra Ray. I'm so just, what's the word? I am excited to connect with you today in this format. And I've got a lot of things I want to share with you, including a bit of my personal story. But before I jump in, I just want to acknowledge that there is so much happening in the, in the world, in the air, and, and it has, it, it impacts us in sometimes very expected ways, but also unexpected. And so I just, as I begin today, I want to remind you that we're living in unprecedented times through a global pandemic. For those of us in Canada, we've just experienced a tragedy over the weekend, and we're all still reeling from all of that. <laughs> the ground is shifting so fast. And I want to, so I just want to take a moment to be with you uh, heart to heart and to just um, remind you uh, to be gentle with yourself and to be loving and kind with yourself. And that even if it's unreasonable or unexpected or you don't know why, but you're feeling like crap, <laughs> It's okay. You will feel better. We will get through this. And so I just want to make space for that right up front as we come together to connect today. And I am so happy to see people popping up. Yay. Post your questions and comments um, for me because I, when I can, I'll, I'll check them while we're here. So I wanted to let you know that uh, I'm offering a, a workshop series coming up starting in May. And I'm going to tell you about it and, and answer some questions if you have them and invite you to join me in our virtual classroom via Zoom. But I want to tell you a little bit about how this course came to be. The course is called Creating Through Change. And it it came about because literally 15 years ago, we just passed the anniversary, just this month actually, it was 15 years ago that I was working as a tax accountant. It was, you know, busy season. I was working a lot, making a lot of money. And at the same time, I was feeling a sense of, of, of emptiness and um, discontent. I couldn't really put my fingers on really why though, because I was just coming up on my first wedding anniversary with my husband, Will. And I mean that, I mean, <laughs> he's so dreamy. Um, and it, I, you know, I was incredibly um, happy and successful. Uh, at, at this time, we had bought our first house. We lived in the Bay Area in California. You know, we, we were taken care of and there was so much to be grateful for. And at the same time, I, I had a sense of emptiness, a sense of disconnection, and I couldn't really, there was no logical reason to explain that. And Something that happened, it was actually at a birthday party for my daughter. Her birthday is in early April. And we were at a birthday party for her with my family when I began to see flashing lights. And there was something wrong with my vision. The lights didn't go away. So I went to the urgent care and they told me I needed to see a specialist. So I just, you know, okay, next day went to a specialist and come to find out I'd had a blood clot in my eye. This is a very 
um, weird thing for an otherwise 30 year old woman. I was, I was healthy, a healthy 30 year old woman at the time. It was a very strange occurrence and they thought something was seriously wrong with me because normally that kind of issue, um, it, it doesn't happen in isolation. It's usually a result, a sign that there's an underlying condition that hasn't been detected yet. So I, I was able to quit work and go on medical leave. And I spent six months where my full-time job was self-care and creativity. I was just about taking care of myself. And let me tell you, <laughs> boy, did I ever. I mean, I started therapy. I joined a women's group. I started life coaching. I started a, a, a book club for on, on personal development books. And, and I, I mean, I just like, I dove in with all I had. And that six months shifted the entire trajectory of my life. I ended up changing careers. I was a professional life coach uh, after that for many years. And, and it was during that, that process, it was probably about three years after the blood clot in my eye that I found the Centers for Spiritual Living. And pretty soon after finding what we lovingly call CSL, it was very clear to me that that uh, I was going to be very involved with the organization. And, you know, fast forward, you know, now 15 years after that initial crisis, I'm a licensed minister with the Centers for Spiritual Living up in White Rock, South Surrey, British Columbia in Canada. And so here I am uh, offering a workshop series that essentially captures the principles and practices that I've used and cultivated and refined over these last 15 years to enable me to dive deeper into my heart, to understand my soul's calling, to create what I want to create in the world. And essentially, even when I don't want it to, <laughs> it comes back to these same core ideas, principles, and practices. And so when I sat down, gosh, maybe it's been about a month ago, to tune in to that, that inner voice, you know, asking what's next? What am I teaching, you know, where do we need to grow and learn? It was this, this content that came up. And, and so with the help of some wonderful uh, board members and practitioners the, with the center, I have put together a brand new workshop series. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the structure and a little bit about the content. So definitely, uh, definitely stay with me because I'll, I'll, I'll give you some juicy things that can maybe help you today, right now. And I, I wanted to offer, you know, like an afternoon workshop or, you know, something that was, that was very short where people could, um, you know, easily access it. But this stuff can't be taught in one afternoon. And, and so it comes in six modules. And so I thought, well, okay, but maybe we can allow people to pick and choose which modules they take so that it's a little bit easier and accessible, more accessible for you to jump in together with me. And there's a morning session and an evening session. And of course, they're all on Zoom while we're all staying uh, safe and sound in our own spaces right now. It's all over Zoom and for each module, there will be a workbook and a live session, and we'll also have an online forum for us to connect uh, together in. And let me tell you a little bit about these six modules. The first one is about emotional health. And I'll tell you what, emotional health is spiritual health. I don't believe you can have one without the other, truly. And so we start there and the, the practice for this one is awareness with compassionate honesty. 
that's the foundation for emotional health, awareness with compassionate honesty. And so we will, uh, you know, go over essentially how do you process emotions? And we'll also look at this other piece of we understand the creative power of our thought and our emotions at the Center for Spiritual Living. And so how do you feel the dark emotions without creating unwanted conditions? I think that's so important. And we this will be an introduction to that. It will give you a few simple, I say simple, they're not necessarily easy, but a few simple steps for how to improve your emotional health. With each module, I, I will also provide um, sources for, for people, wisdom, books that I've drawn upon that you can also take this information deeper than, than what we'll offer in these introductory modules. The second module is about sacred empowerment. And in this module, we're going to be practicing acceptance with loving boundaries. Yeah, acceptance with loving boundaries. Oh man, how many of you struggle with boundaries? I'm just gonna raise my hand too because even as the teacher, even as the minister, even as the one practicing all of this for, for many, many years, now boundaries can still be a little tricky. Yeah, and so we're gonna go there. We're going to we're going to lay the groundwork for how to set loving boundaries. You see, I believe that boundaries aren't what keep us apart. They're actually what keep us together. And healthy relationships have very healthy, loving boundaries. So that's module number two. Module number three is about spiritual living. And in this module, we practice alignment using freedom structures. So this is about living your intentions. You know, oftentimes who you want to be and how you show up, uh, they might be out of sync, out of whack. You might uh, value kindness and then you might not show up as kind. So in this module, we're gonna talk about how to bring those together. And freedom structures are some of, is one of my favorite topics because um, I, I do believe that, that in order to really experience freedom, we need some structure in our life to support that. And so we'll talk about integrating those ideas and, and ultimately, how do we live our sovereignty? Yeah, yes, that's module number three. Module number four is about moving forward. So this is where, uh, you know, the rubber meets the road, as they say, and we're going to practice moving forward, taking action, and we do that with responsible risk. So here's the thing, and this is really where faith, faith, you know, it, faith is there along each one, but this one, it really ramps up because in order to live a life of your design, that's in alignment with your values, that has meaning for you, it does require you to take risks. Oh, do you even like get the chills a little when you think about taking a risk? Yeah. So we, we're gonna talk about taking inspired action. This is responsible risk. This is setting ourselves up for success and, and and action, putting feet to our intentions. This module is really about moving forward. And module number five is about empowering connections. Empowering healing connections. And this module, we practice affection with connected independence. Now I wanna clarify on this particular module that this entire course, all the series of these modules are really about you, the person taking the module. So even in this one, when we talk about connection, we're going to be looking through the, the lens of connecting with yourself and connecting with yourself with affection. 
and connected independence. What does that mean? It means you take care of your body while you recognize you aren't your body. You tend to your mind while you recognize you aren't your thoughts. And, and of course, there's many things that we need to be both connected and independent with. And we're going to talk about those relationships in this particular uh, module. So this module is not about relationships with others. I'm actually pretty sure I'm going to offer this module series again under a different lens about connecting outward with others. But this particular workshop series is about connecting inside. It's about your personal process and how you use that to then create the life that you want to have. So in this fifth module, we will definitely be creating a healthy relationship with the self. And truly, that is that is the foundation for relationships with others. And we can't really fully separate those out, right? We're going to kind of delve into both, I'm sure. But I want you to know that the primary focus for this offering is about this relationship with yourself. And of course, that leads right to the module six, which is about loving yourself. Loving yourself. And this is about how to appreciate with unique equality. Yeah, this, in this particular one, um, and I wanna check my notes here. Yes, this one, oh, so juicy because we are gonna be talking about embracing your, your value and your worth in this module. So if you've ever struggled with self-criticism, self-doubt, comparing yourself, feeling not good enough or not worthy. That's what this particular module is going to be about. And in fact, I believe that all of the modules have really brought us to this point now that, that then we, we delve into that one. Because this concept of whether or not you're good enough, um, that's not something we ever like get over. You know, it's a part of our humanity. And yet, it does not have to stop us from being who we wanna be and doing what we wanna do. And at the same time, as we embrace our humanity, we also want to know our divinity because truly the essence of who you are, the soul of who you are is infinite, powerful, creative, and magnificent. And ultimately, whether you take one of these modules or all six of them, that is what I want for you. I want you to have an experience of your own magnificence that then fills you up and inspires you and, and teaches you how to turn inward to listen to that inner guidance within you that shows you what your next step is, that guides you to what has the most meaning and energy and juice for your life. That is what I want for you. And I would be tickled pink to have you join us uh, in this first offering of these modules. And you can take, each one is 25 bucks Canadian. And uh, if you wanna take all six, it's 125, you get one free, you get a, a $25 discount. So 125 Canadian dollars to take all six. You can register on our website. Ooh, I'm gonna share the link. I hope I can do this. Because uh, I've not I've not done this before. Uh, oh, I can comment. Here we go. I have just um, put the link in uh, the chat in the comments. Uh, the link to register. You can visit that page. You can read more about every module, and you can sign up for one or you can sign up for all of them. Again, like I said, it's going to be on Zoom, and we begin Wednesday, May sixth at ten a.m. or Thursday, May 7th at 7 p.m. So you can have a morning class or an evening class. And if you need to miss one of them, you can jump on the other one. You know, there's flexibility there. And we will also record them so that you can view, view them after. 
or if you have to miss one again, you'll have that recording. And I am so excited to learn and grow with you, especially right now, because tell me if it feels like that for you, but it, it feels like the entire world is just at a pause. And, and truly, when I look back on my life 15 years ago, the situation with my eye was like a really big pause button. It's like my body, my soul hit pause on my life and said, wake up. You know, if you're, you need to look at yourself and at your life differently. And man, you know, it was one of the scariest things because imagine uh, having your vision compromised. And, uh, oh, I do want to tell you that my vision is fully recovered now. Uh, there is permanent damage to my eye. However, the brain is just this magnificent, wonderful, creative thing that it compensates for it. And so along with my glasses, uh, my vision is great, uh, wonderful, and my life is too. Even when I'm overwhelmed or upset or afraid, or confused or uncertain, and boy, is there a lot of that coming up right now. Yes, even for me, um, I have the skills and tools to be with myself to come back to myself and to offer myself love and compassion, space and support. And I would love to offer that same love and compassion support to you. Please join us. Thank you. And I want to say goodbye and say, look, Oh, Colleen, you've signed up for the first module. Yay, I'm so excited. Thank you. And hello, Cheryl. So good to see you and be with you all today. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.